Alright, what's up you two Rams country? This is your boy Alex24 here, bringing you this Ram preview for our Rams traveling to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals and also some sad news around the NFL and for Ram fans, but I'll get into that towards the end of the video. I don't want to make this video too long, I want to keep it nice and short, um, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but let's start with the game. We're 4-6, and six. we've lost three games in a row, lost to the Chicago Bears, got humiliated by the Bears, lost in overtime against the Vikings, and last week we... Like last couple of seconds to the uh, to the Baltimore Ravens. So we were once four and three, looking good. Now we're four and six out of the playoffs. And the only three there was three teams in front of us. There are the Seattle Seahawks, the Bucks, and then there are the Redskins. We play the Bucks and the Seahawks one more time. So I'm not too worried about that. We control our own fate, our own destiny. The only team I'm worried about is the Redskins, and hopefully they keep losing, or they they, they just they lose a couple more games. But Hey, Atlanta's falling. They're six and four, I believe. So we're only two games out of it, and we control whatever we 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 control if we want to be in the playoffs or not. So I mean, with with help with some help of some teams losing, of course. But that's the playoff scenario. I have full faith that we can still make it. We can turn it. Crazier things that happen in the NFL. We've seen the Giants get hot right at the end of this at the season, make the playoffs, and then win the Super Bowl. So anything can happen in the NFL. It's, it's Anything can happen. So I have full faith in our Rams. You know, who knows? This can be the week where we turn around against a good team in Cincinnati. And momentum just starts like that. And we and we fly into the playoffs. You just never know. So let's get into this game. We are going to Cincinnati. A very tough environment to play in. Andy Dalton is, is, is the leader right, right there in Cincinnati. A very good quarterback. He's been playing very, very well this year. Um, two really good backs. Giovanni Bernard and Jeremy Hill. I mean, two different style running backs. That's one thing that's going to be hard to take on. But... Very, very talented running backs. They haven't gotten going the last couple of weeks, but against our defense that has been struggling the last couple of weeks, we got to do a good job. And their go-to guy, A.J. Green, that can go up there and get it. I mean, one of the top receivers in this in the NFL. So, and they have a very good, very good defense, a very solid defense. I mean, almost reflects our defense, a very good defense, up-and-coming defense, with a little bit more veterans on their side, though. So, this game nearly has to be nearly perfect for the Rams. No mistakes, no turnovers, no... No penalties is a bigger thing, and we have to go out there and make some plays. Our offense has to has to get rolling. We cannot go in here looking like we did the last couple of weeks. Our offense cannot look like that because we're going to get humiliated again like we got humiliated against the Bears. Last week, I was very surprised that the Ravens' offense wasn't um, clicking because their offense is usually clicking, and their defense is the one that's actually is, is the one that's struggling. It was pretty much flipped that week, but anyways, we can, we have to come out here and we have to come out this week on Sunday and fire. We have to come out on sync, run the ball with Todd Gurley, get actually run it effectively, use Tavon. Todd Gurley and Tavon, I want to see each of those guys get the ball. Tavon has to get the ball at least seven to ten times this game. He has to. You have to give him the ball. I've said this all year. Give him the ball. Um, Todd Gurley, give him the ball from his, his usual averages, 20 to 22 carries, and get Bunny, Benny Cunningham in the mix too. I don't want to see just Benny going in the third down. And that's it. Give him the ball. Let him run the ball. I mean, he's a very talented running back. And if Trey Mason plays, well, he does, he, if he plays, he plays. I mean, I've heard some things that he, he doesn't want to show up because I guess now he's the second string running back. Come on. This is, this. I mean, you don't, come on, you don't cry and pout just because someone's out, uh, out playing you. I mean, go out there and prove yourself, Trey. But we have to look, we have to run the ball, use the passing game. We have to exploit this defense. It's a very good defense, but it, it has some holes. So, we have to come out here against Cincinnati and actually try to win this game with our offense. Because the last couple of weeks have shown you cannot rely on the defense because our defense might not be able to stand. Look at our defense last week. They played pretty good, but when it came down to... They're probably tired. I mean, when it came down to times where we really needed it, they were tired and they couldn't get a stop. So, of course, I believe we can win this game. Just We have to be nearly perfect. No, We have to be mistake-free. We can't be shooting ourselves in the foot. So, I really believe we can win this game. Um, I see our top performer being Todd Gurley. I mean, I see him coming out this game, um, either Todd or Tavon. I see, winning, it's not, I see us winning this game 20-17, to 17, around that area. I mean, not very high scoring, if, if so, because, I mean, our offense can't score very many points. So, I believe in this, I believe in our Rams that we can turn it around this season and make the playoffs. I really do. So, I mean, just got to have faith. It starts this week. If it's not this week, then our playoffs might be out of range. So, um, that's pretty much the game. I, 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 like I said, I didn't want to keep it, keep it too long with the, with the preview for this week. Um, some sad news, Stedman Bailey, 
um, yesterday I saw, I heard some, I went on Twitter, and I just started seeing Stephen Bailey's name, like, all over my timeline, I, I'm just wondering what's going on, and I get to, uh, I get to find out that he's been shot two, twice in the head, the incident, I guess, was he was in the car with his, his cousin and two younger relatives in the back seats, and I guess people started firing on them, his cousin shielded the kids, he got shot multiple times, and Stephen Bailey got shot in the head twice, um, Stedman is not in life in, is not in life threatening conditions. He had surgery today. He's already out, and sources say he he is okay. And his cousin is in life threatening conditions. I haven't heard very much on him, but it's some sad news and around the NFL. A lot of people, a lot of NFL players, a lot of fans reached out to Stedman Bailey, giving him his prayers. Especially me. I just I mean I I didn't know what to think. I mean it almost felt like I knew Stedman Bailey. I mean kind of weird, but it almost felt that way because I like I was so shocked like. We watch these guys play each and every Sunday, and they're in the limelight. They're everyone's watching them, and to find out that a player, an NFL player, got shot in the head twice, is in the hospital with, with serious conditions. It's it's very shocking. And so, our prayers have to go out to Simon Bailey. I really hope he's okay. Um, I don't want to see no stupid remarks on Twitter. I've already saw a stupid remark that's saying that if he's going to play this Sunday. Like, are you serious? I mean, he just he's in the serious condition that he's in. You're over here making a joke. So. Our Rams are going to be playing with heavy hearts this week against the Cincinnati Bengals with Stedman Bailey in our minds. So, Stedman, you know you have the Rams nation behind you, you have the whole NFL behind you, especially me. So, prayers up to Stedman Bailey. Hope he's okay. May God be with you, Stedman Bailey. So, hopefully he makes a good um, a good recovery back to us. So, I mean, not football related. I mean, just hopefully he makes a recovery. So, that's my time. Rams up. Stedman Bailey, prayers up to you, man.